weighed in 185 reportedly. Doing it for Team No Regrets, he has one mixed martial art fight that was a win. He was originally slated to fight Shannon the Cannon Rich, who could not fight because of problems with the athletic commission. He was TKO'd a little while back. They wanted him to take a little bit more time off. So Daniel Madrid, after only one fight, was ready to step up and take on the likes of Shannon the Cannon, who has well over 100 fights. Wow. Yeah, even though he's at a weight disadvantage, uh, Madrid has uh, got lots of experience. So it should be a pretty even matchup. You know, Leroy, Leroy's fought uh, on a couple cards that I did. He, he fought up in Colorado and King of Cage up there earlier. And he fought a Gabe Rebus at 165 pounds. And I'm telling you, the kid's tall and lanky, but he, he knows how to throw him back. You know, he, he's got a tough chin. He's got decent ground. He comes out of a wrestling camp uh, that just started. It's, uh, but uh, Daniel Madrid, he, he is, he's definitely, he's definitely coming to, to throw. Here we go. Leroy Fornoff, Daniel Madrid. Daniel Madrid looks built and ready to go. Nice high kick there. He did not throw a lead punch though, which is something that I really recommend when you throw high kicks. No doubt. You know, I see both their chins standing up high. As a striker myself, you always want to keep that chin tucked down. So we might see a knockout. Give the fans what they want to see. Good jab, leave not sticking out on the end of that punch. Daniel Madrid is the fighter with the tattoo on his right arm if he's having trouble telling the difference. Daniel, great job slamming Leroy and bringing him halfway back across the cage. Leroy's got the start of a DOT choke. He's got it in there. Oh, Daniel Madrid defending it. Pops his head out with a good shot. In a high guard there. Daniel trying to work some shots to the body of Leroy Fornoff. See, right now, being the rules have been changed. There's no elbows to the face. So, you know, a couple of the guys here are used to throwing elbows to the face, and now it kind of limited the striking position. There wow, look at tri Triangle Choke. He's got it sunk in. Oh, here comes the slam. He's picked him up. Oh, oh there he's he <laughs> still kept it sunk, though. Daniel Madrid showing some toughness. And that's it. I don't know. He's going to maybe tap. He keeps slamming some of that. It's only going to make you more tired. If you don't escape, it only makes the choke tighter as well, James. Yeah, I don't see this uh, fight last much longer. He's pulling down the head now because he's got it sunk in pretty well. Daniel Madrid showing some perseverance. He should probably switch off to the armbar. He's pulling out, though. He's coming out the back door. Wow. Yeah, he needs to switch to an armbar. There he goes. Leroy Fornoff doing a good job controlling his opponent. But it looks like Daniel's gonna pass into the side mount. Great job by Daniel Madrid to survive that. Really hanging in there, staying strong. Now he's got side control. Very surprised that Leroy oh. held on to that triangle twice. There we go. Novosco's hips got a base down. And there's Leroy getting the reversal, going to side control. Trying to rain down some punches. Well, Dell, you were right. Leroy's got a good ground game. He got that triangle very quickly, almost finished it and got the sweep. Leroy's got to be careful. He keeps extending his arms, grabbing the back of the head when he punches. He's going to get an arm bar here, going to stuck in another triangle. Look at that, head and arm choke. He's got Daniel it in there Madrid deep. might have it. He just sent his hips down, and he's really got it locked in there. That's tight. I think he's got to get that arm across a little bit more, though. Yeah, he's got to get that arm on the side of his uh, head there. Great action here in this first round between Leroy Farnoff and Daniel Madrid. Madrid possibly wasting a lot of energy. If you don't have that choke, you can squeeze a lot to the full amount. a lot of power. Rain and punches. Leroy's doing a good job of defending, though. He's keeping his hands up, protecting his face, and here we go. Back that, and forth. Look fight. at this. Oh. Getting the sweep. <laughs> Get Another reversal. Sweep. And look at that. Daniel Madrid originally automatically going to that arm bar, and he almost has it. He's got a scooter wow. tips down. Leroy just about tapped that arm bar when he first turned it over. Yeah, he did. Oh, let's go, man. Here we go, another scramble. Oh! oh. <laughs> Back and forth action is what we have here at King of the Cage. The Predator returns. Here we go, Raul, the referee, standing him up. Very odd stand-up in my opinion. Yeah, the action is still kind of going a little bit there. 
A light kick to the body. Back for a double leg. Another takedown. So Daniel Madrid, the local boy, living close to the beautiful Apache Gold Casino here in Arizona. A lot of fans here in the crowd cheering for him. Yeah, he's showing a lot of poise for a guy one and zero. Both these guys are, are having a pretty easy time finding submissions, but neither of them seem to be very good at defending. <laughs> or finishing. It's very odd to see fighters just throw up triangles and arm bars and both be getting them, but neither one of them are you know, really defending until it's pretty late. Here we go, another mount. Another full mount by Daniel Madrid. Let's see if we're going to finish here. Another reversal. Back and forth fight. Evenly matched opponents. That's what King of the Cage is all about. Yeah, he's got to get a little wider base next time on those mounts there. These guys keep extending in the triangle here, attempt arm right bar. Both these guys very quick to switch their hips over for that arm bar. That there might be it. That's it. Finally a finish. Daniel Madrid. Great fight. Improving the 2 and 0. Oh. That was a seesaw battle. Back and forth action is what we just saw here in the first round of Leroy Fornov and Daniel Madrid. And Madrid getting the victory via the arm bar. You've got to be impressed with uh, both these gentlemen. They uh, hung in there and kind of persevered weathered the storm back and forth. It was, uh, there's been a lot of boys for being inexperienced. Crazy fight, you know. As I was trying to, I'll, I'll expand on what I was talking about earlier, you know, it's, sometimes you'll see one fighter throwing up a lot of submissions, getting halfway there, and another fighter defending them. And this fight, both fighters were throwing up submissions and getting halfway there on them, and the other fighter really wasn't defending until it was somewhat sunk. Right. <laughs> Something I've, I don't think I've ever seen it to that extent. You're right. I haven't seen it, I got 100 career victories. For the official particulars, we're gonna throw it into the ring. He is the Iron Man, Tyson Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes, 51 seconds in the first round, your winner by tap out, Daniel Bonaparte. There you have it, Daniel Madrid, winner by Via Horbar. Once again, this King of the Cage event brought to you by Loans2Land.com. And of course, we want to thank the Apache Gold Casino.